Dear students, let's know about the connective tissue fibers. There are three distinct types of connective tissue fibers collagen, reticular, and elastic. The amount and arrangement of these fibers depend on the function of the tissues or organs in which they are found. I would like to give you two information. One is fibroblasts synthesize all the collagen, elastic and reticular fibers and their functions are to provide strength and resistance to stretching and deformation. Let's explore the fibers one by one. Collagen fibers. They are the most abundant fibers which are composed of fibrous, thick, tough proteins that usually do not branch. There are at least 28 different types of genetically distinct collagens found in vertebrates. Today, we should discuss about the most frequently recognized collagens in histological slides. They are collagen 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's start with collagen 1. They are the most common connective tissue fibers. In the previous slide, we used the term most common for the collagen fiber among the other connective tissue fibers. Now, we are using most common for the collagen 1 among other collagen fibers. They are found in those places where great resistance is needed to tensile stresses. What are the tensile stresses? One is compression where pushing force is active from both end of an object. Another is tension where pulling force is seen on both end. Like these, the direction of forces are shown on other three stresses named bending, torsion and shearing. If we look at the positions of the limbs and trunks of human body during different works, we can match any of the stresses stated before a minute. Here the fishermen are working with their net. Everybody are pulling the net and the pulling force is active over their upper limb. On the other hand, they need to stand on the boat by pushing their lower limb over the deck of the boat. This pulling or pushing effect are created and maintained by the muscles with the help of the tough, thick, fibrous structure named tendon situated on the both ends of a skeletal muscle. Even when the weight of the net is transmitted tough, thick and fibrous elements named ligaments, fascia, bone, tendon, fibrocartilage and even dermis of the skin because they need to show great resistance to the tensile stresses. You can see that shearing and twisting are also present in different parts of the body of these fishermen. And definitely collagen fibers of those areas give resistance to the tensile stresses. And this mechanism of dealing with the tensile stress is very often seen in our surrounding life. Just see the different parts of the two bully players in Jabbarir Bully Khela or see the players body parts in the popular game of Bangladesh Hadudu. So, collagen fiber is present in dermis of the skin, tendon, ligament, fasci, fibrocartilis, bones, capsule of the organ. Transmission electron micrograph 
shows fibrils cut longitudinally and transversely. In longitudinal section, fibrils, which are the structural unit of the collagen fiber, display alternating dark and light band. In cross section, the cut ends of individual collagen molecules appear as dots. Ground substance completely surrounds the fibrils. The large bundles of type 1 collagen fibrils appear as acidophilic collagen fibers in connective tissues where they may fill the extracellular space. Here in this acidophilic pink colored area there are many collagen fiber and these collagen fibers are composed of so many fibrils. Now collagen 2 their function is to provide support to resist pressure. They are present in tracheal ring and in the cartilaginous part of the eustachian tube where they have to deal with the air pressure and the mechanical pressure from the surrounding structure. It is also present in the vitreous body of the eyeball which deal with the maintenance of intraocular pressure and therefore the shape of the eyeball. Now come to collagen 3. It is thin branching reticular fibers which form the delicate supporting meshwork in such organs where they form the main extracellular matrix to support the cells of these organs. Let's consider the structure of the lymph node. Let's zoom it in and uh, then zoom in for greater extent. We can see that here are so many lymphocytes and phagocytic cells present in between the black colored string like structures. Actually these fiber like structures or string like structures are collagen 3 which form a supporting meshwork. This type of a structure is also present in spleen and bone marrow where this meshwork is needed to support the cells of these organs. Now collagen 4. Can you remember the epithelium and the basement membrane? Yes, this type of collagen is present in the basal lamina of the basement membrane to which the basal regions of the cells attach. Here we can see that this is our epithelial cell and this glycoprotein and anchoring fibrils are connected with the type 4 collagen in the basal lamina of the basement membrane. Then we will learn about the reticular fibers. Please look at the paragraph. Oh, it is uh, so clumsy. Now look. Okay. I am making this colorful. Yes. Reticular fibers consisting mainly of type 3 collagen which are thin and form a delicate net like supportive framework and situated where the type 3 collagen are situated. Yes, they are situated in liver, lymph nodes, spleen, hemopoietic organs and any organs where blood and lymph are filtered. Actually it is termed as reticular because these fibers form a delicate net like framework and reticular means fine network or net like structure. It forms the network as it were the nylon mesh air filters are made. Now a new term elastic fibers. Again we will see it in a colorful mode. Ok elastic fibers are thin small branching fibers that are capable of stretching and returning to their original length. 
they have less tensile strength than collagen fibers and most importantly when stressed elastic fibers return to their original size without deformation and this phenomenon is known as recoil just look at the pumping heart and see the root of the great vessels during contraction of the ventricles pulmonary trunk and aorta are becoming swollen and then go back to the normal position when ventricular relaxation starts this is possible due to the presence of some elastic substance in the great vessels and that substance is the elastic fiber and as because of the presence of elastic fibers in the lung tissue recoiling of the lung and alveoli is seen for the same reason elastic fibers are also abundant in the urinary bladder wall and skin this is the electron micrograph of an elastic fiber the elastin of the fiber has a relatively amorphous appearance the fibrillin microfibrils are present at the periphery and within the substance of the fiber a number of collagen fibrils are also present in this electron micrograph this is the scanning electron micrograph of an elastic fiber this is scanning electron micrograph of the human dense irregular connective tissue from the dermis shows structure of elastic fiber and illustrate its relative size in comparison to surrounding collagen fibrils so we are looking that one collagen fibril is very smaller than the elastic fiber but one collagen fiber is larger than elastic fiber are you clear the previous one is collagen fibril one collagen fibril which is the structural unit of a collagen fiber that collagen fibril is very smaller than the elastic fiber but when we consider the collagen fiber with the elastic fiber then collagen fiber is larger in sectioned tissue at higher magnification elastic fibers can be seen among the acidophilic collagen bundles of dermis now let's solve a puzzle it is a section of a skin stained with hematoxylin and eosin i am zooming it in now we are looking uh, so many fibers here and they are thick fibrous and abundant and uh, situated in those places where great resistance is needed to tensile strength can you imagine about the fiber present here yes it is collagen 1 again another puzzle here many thin small branching fibers are seen and they are present in peritoneal fat and blood vessel wall because they are capable of stretching and returning to their original length can you imagine which fiber is present here yes elastic fibers another one thin fibers are seen which form delicate net like support framework and they are present in those structure where blood and lymph are filtered can you tell me the name of the fibers yes reticular fibers okay the puzzles are solved thank you for watching and as because we are launching the videos for the first time and we are in very preliminary stage so you can feel free to comment regarding any other portion of the video uh, so we can upgrade our next presentations in such a manner that you can understand every point of our presentations thank you very much